Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce from Petition College, Chennai. In this video, I'm going to teach you two more problems under labor variances, how to calculate labor variances by making use of the formulas. Let me check one problem, the next slide. Look at this problem. The standard cost code reveals the following information. Labor rate is 50 pies per hour. The information for the labor rate is given for the standard. Uh, please have it in your mind. Our set per unit is 10 hours. So the 10 hours is set for a one unit, okay, as per standard. So we have two information that is what is the rate per hour as per standard, as well as what is the time needed as per the standard time uh, for producing one unit is. 10 hours. So this two information is available for the standard. Now we we'll checked out what is the data available as per actual. As per actual, the units produced is 500 and hours worked is 6000 hours. Actual labor cost is rupees 2400. So in this data, as per the actual, we don't have the information about the labor rate per hour. So we need to calculate by using this two information, how many hours worked as per actual and what is the labor cost. So now the question is calculate labor variances. Now look at the next slide. I calculated some information to work out the labor cost variances. So what are the information we need to calculate the labor cost variance means? First of all, we need to calculate what is the actual rate as per the actual rate. The formula is what is the labor cost, actual labor cost divided by actual hours work. The previous slide, the labor cost is 2400, hours work is 6000. So, using this formula in order to calculate the labor rate per hour as per actual. So, as per actual, the labor rate per hour is 40 pies. Okay. Then I move on to the calculation of standard time for actual output that is not given in the problem. We need to calculate. So, what is the standard time for actual output by using this formula? How many units produced into standard time per unit? Okay. So, now look at this. We have some problem. Units produced as per actual is 500. And as per the standard time, we need 10 hours to produce a single unit. So, actual production is 500 means how to calculate the standard time for actual output. So that is 500 units into 10 hours. So totally the standard time for the actual output is 5000 hours. So this two information we need to work prior to the calculation of labor cost variance. So the labor cost variance formula already I spoke and discussed in the previous videos. So this is the formula. Simply I can say the standard cost has to be compared with the actual cost. How to calculate the standard cost means Multiply the standard rate with the standard time for actual output. How to calculate the actual cost means actual rate into actual output. So making use this formula, you will come to know what is a direct labor cost variance. Look at this calculation. The standard rate as per the problem is 55. And standard time is we calculated as 5000 hours. That is through the working notes. And next is minus actual rate that is 45 and then uh, 6000 uh, hours for the actual tax. So use this formula, you will get into that 2500 minus 2400. So you will get the positive answer because 2500 is more than 2400. So difference is 100. So 100 is favorable. Okay, next calculation. I move on to the calculation of direct labor rate variance so how to calculate direct labor rate variance is actual time into standard rate minus actual rate so standard rate is 50 pies and actual rate is 40 pies into the uh, deduct this you will get 0 0.10 that has to be multiplied with the actual time taken so that is 6000 hours so you'll get the answer as 600 favorable the next slide we will go to calculate direct labor efficiency variance so how to calculate the direct labor efficiency variance is the formula is standard rate into standard time for actual output minus 
actual time. Okay. So standard time we calculate as per the working notes is 5,000. Actual time is 6,000. So you will get minus 1,000 here. Minus 1,000 in point into point 0.5 means you will get minus 500. That's what I mentioned in the brackets as adverse. And then verification is labor cost variance. This is a verification uh, like how we did in the metal cost variance. Like that, we will use the verification whether our answers calculated or right or wrong. So have the small verification always. Once you finish the cost variance, time variance, and then efficiency variance, just uh, use this formula uh, to check out whether our answers are right. Labor cost variance is always a summation of labor rate variance and labor efficiency variance. How the answers of labor cost variance that we got it already 100 favorable and labor rate variance is 600 favorable. Labor efficiency variance normally we calculate as 500 adverse. So 600 favor and 500 adverse means what is the resulting answer? 100 favor. So your uh, left hand side as well as right hand side answers are is same so our calculation are right so this is the way how we, we can work out the labor variances let me check out one more problem from the following data calculate labor variances budgeted labor for completing job x budgeted here it represents the standard okay so again i'm uh, telling budgeted means the standard so we have information about the standard look that information Eight skilled workers at rupees 10 per hour for 20 hours. 12 unskilled workers are rupees 8 per hour for 20 hours. So we have a category of workers. The category of workers are skilled workers and then unskilled workers. How many workers is given in the problem as well as what is the rate per hour and how many hours as per the standard. Next, we have the information about the actual. And here also we have the same category, skilled and unskilled. How many actual uh, skilled workers were worked and how many unskilled workers actually work that is 30 and what is the rate per hour and as, as well as how many hours they worked okay and this is the problem we are going to work out the labor variances before going into calculation let me prepare a small table look at the next slide uh, we have the columns like the particulars budgeted for standard and actual so under the budget for standard and actual uh, we uh, divide the columns into three one is hours rate and amount same thing for actual first i i took it the skilled labor so skilled labor how many hours they work for the standard is given 20 hours for both the skilled or unskilled we uh, yeah, that is they took 20 hours so 20 hours and then rate per hour is given as what is that see uh, eight skilled workers so eight skilled workers into 20 hours they are working means how many hours totally they work as for the standard 160 hours they work as per the standard and what is the rate per hour 10 rupees so what is the labor cost 1600 as per standard for the skilled likewise we need to calculate for unskilled for the standard okay so 12 workers unskilled into 20 hours they work means 240 hours as per the standard 240 hours they are working and labor rate per hour is 8 means what is the labor cost as per standard for the unskilled 1920 the same way we need to calculate for actual as per the actual 12 into 20 hours they are working so we come to know how many hours they work the skilled workers are work as per the actual into the per hour rate likewise for unskilled 13 into 20 and then we came to know how many hours actually work from the unskilled category into seven you will come to know what is the labor cost look at that so same calculation i did it so once you finish this small calculation it will be easy to calculate the labor variances look at this i put the total totally both the uh, skilled and unskilled workers work for 400 hours and labor cost is 3520 this is as per the standard likewise actual is 500 hours and then amount labor cost is 4460 so look at the small note I given here. Total hours worked is calculated based on the number of workers and their working hours of work. That is what we did here. Eight skilled workers into 20 hours they work. 12 unskilled workers into 20 hours. So you will come to know how many hours they worked. Okay. So this calculation we need to work out the labor variances. It will be easier for us. 
look at this calculations. The first calculation I move on to direct labor cost variance. You know the formula. So I uh, work it out separately for skilled and unskilled. So how to work out the skilled uh, labor cost variance means. So what is the formula? Uh, standard time into standard rate and then actual time into actual rate. So what is the standard time? Uh, that is 160 hours for the skilled, okay? And then into rate. Likewise, we work it out here, uh, 160 hours into 10 and then 240 hours into 11, okay? So we'll come to know 1600 minus 2640, we'll get the negative answer. That's what I mentioned as in the brackets, adverse. Likewise, we have to calculate for the unskilled. How to work out for unskilled means 240 into eight minus 260 into seven. Look at the calculation. So you will get 1920 minus 1820. So we'll get the positive answer. That's what I mentioned favorable. So 1040 adverse minus 100 means what is the resulting answer? 940 adverse. Okay, so this is the way how to calculate labor cost variance. The next slide, we'll move on to the calculation of labor rate variance. So we need to compare the rate, uh, standard rate, as well as the actual rate within the brackets. That has to be multiplied with the actual time. So look at the calculations. Skilled, standard rate is 10, actual rate is 11, as per the skilled. As well as unskilled means standard rate is 8, actual rate is 7. And what is the actual time? Actual time 240 hours for the skilled and unskilled is 260 hours. So do the calculation, you will get the answers like this. And if you're getting the answer in negative means, put it in the brackets as adverse. If you're getting a positive answer means, put the brackets as favorable. So here the adverse amount is more, sorry, less than the favorable. So the resulting answer is 20 as favorable. So we completed the calculation of direct labor rate variances. The next one is, Labor efficiency variance. So this is the formula to calculate the labor efficiency variances. That is, in the previous, a rate has to be compared. Whenever you are calculating a labor rate variance, the rate, the standard rate as well as the actual rate has to be compared. This is the easiest way how to recall the formulas. Okay, nothing is difficult in the standard costing. And next is labor efficiency variance means we need to compare the output, the standard out, uh, that is standard time for actual output and then actual time. So we need to compare the time here and here we need to compare the rate here. Labor rate means we need to compare the standard rate with our actual rate. And uh, labor efficiency, efficiency is always uh, measured through the time, what time they took it to produce a unit. So the standard time has to be compared with the actual time, but the standard time on the actual output. That is very, very important to remind this point. So standard time on the actual output minus actual time. So this is the easiest way how you can recall the formulas. As for the formulas, skilled uh, direct labor efficiency as well as unskilled layer direct labor efficiency variance, I calculated. The formula is standard rate. Okay, standard rate is 10 for skilled, unskilled is age. And the bracket standard time for actual output and actual time. Okay, we need to compare it and you will get the answers like that. And verification, how uh, we did the verification the previous problem. The same way we can verify because the labor cost variance is the summation of rate variance as well as the efficiency variance. So how to calculate means we got the cost variance as 940 at first and we calculate the labor rate variance as 20 favorable but labor efficiency is 950 at first. So here right side will get 940 is the resulting answer. It said already 940. So both the sides are equal. So our calculations are correct. So the thing, uh, thing is, I want to highlight material variance or either labor variance. Look at the uh, title of the uh, calculation, either that uh, rate or the time. We need to compare within the brackets the time, standard time with our actual time. In case this rate variance means compare the standard rate with our actual rate. So there must be a strategy how to recall the formulas easily. Okay, then you can easily work out. So in this problem, we have one more model that is skilled on skilled when it is given separately, how to work out the labor variances. Okay, uh, and then one more question, uh, that is a variance we calculate this problem, direct labor mixed variance or gang composition variance. 
to use this formula revised standard time always not given the problem so how to calculate the revised standard time means use this formula total actual time divided by total standard time into individual standard time so calculate separately for skilled and unskilled so actual time is for skilled is 500 and standard time is 400 and individual standard time is uh, is 160 hours so likewise if you have to calculate for skilled and unskilled then you will get this answer what is the revised standard time and make use of this answer in this formula to calculate the labor mix variance for skilled and unskilled separately so you will get the answers like that 400 at worst minus 320 favorable means what is your resulting answer 80 at worst so this is the way how you can get the labor mix variance there is another name for that what is that gan composition variance okay so always in this uh, variance, revised standard time is not given in the problem. We need to calculate the revised standard time by making use of the formula actual time divided by, I mean total actual time divided by total standard time into individual standard time. So individual standard time, you know very well, total actual time is also, you know, uh, look at the table. So what is the total standard time? What is the total actual time? And what is the individual? individual standard time and individual actual time for both skilled and unskilled that's what we work it out here okay so automatically we'll get the revised standard time use this uh, answers in the formula to calculate the labor mix variance i think you will understand both the problems uh, how to calculate labor variances under this two model uh, if you want more videos please comment and subscribe my channel click the bell button then only you will get to know whenever i am sharing any new videos in next video i'll start taking the overhead variances thanks for watching see you again in next video